Well, you may know I was at Mar-a-Lago this weekend with the president. I was able to be there during a speech that he gave to a very small select group of people in Mar-a-Lago, and it was something else. Let me tell you firsthand what it was like to listen to Donald Trump give a speech this weekend with no cell phone. So what they do is they take your cell phones and they lock them up. They say that the president wants to sort of speak intimately. He doesn't want anything like surreptitiously recorded. And so they make you put your cell phone in a little locked, in a little locked baggie, right? And so the, the, the president gets up, uh, at Mar-a-Lago and I learned, whew, did I learn three things from going to a private dinner with Donald Trump this weekend? It was myself and about a hundred other people in the ballroom at Mar-a-Lago. The president wanted to speak with us and it's very, very cool to hear his unvarnished thoughts on the way things are going in this country. Here's how it went. Thing number one that I learned, I learned three things, one of three. Number one, the guy has got energy. Oh my gosh, he was supposed to get 15 minutes of conversation. He was part of a larger program. He's supposed to speak for 15 minutes. He spoke for 90 minutes, over an hour and a half. The president remarked and just went up with a speech, right? He had a binder with a speech that was written out by his speech writers and everything. It was all nice. It was perfect. It was all done. Every T was crossed and I was dotted. And he took the binder. He said, I don't need this. Chucked it. Throws it. <laughs> just like, just like throws it. This is classic Trump. Throws it and says, I just want to speak to you guys from the heart. I want to talk to you about what I care about right now and what I am seeing right now in this country. The president talked about the second thing, the second thing that he hit on, and this is really, really important. He talks about how we have such a crisis right now when it comes to what his administration was accomplishing and then what the Biden administration is undoing. He says that it, he warned us that this is, he warned us that they were going to go full communist, that they were going to go full socialist and they were going to undo everything. He hit on the border. He hit on taxes. He hit on immigration. He hit on the raising of our corporate taxes. He hit on the gas prices going up, the food prices going up, inflation, and the crisis that is occurring right now, crisis after crisis of the Biden administration. He says, I warned you guys, and the president straight up said, do you miss me yet? And that's, I mean, like the room erupted into applause, but yeah, I mean, it's true. So many Americans do miss him, and so much is collapsing so instantaneously under the socialist leadership of tyrant Joe Biden. The final thing that the president touched on was election integrity and anti-fraud. He complimented the anti-fraud laws that are being passed across the country and the hardening of our election security, something that should be a wildly bipartisan issue. Unfortunately, it is not. But nonetheless, the president talked about that and how he's in support of that and how he's going to support candidates this cycle. This was really exciting. He has talked about how he's going to go in and he's going to make sure that America First candidates go in to stymie and to stop and to immediately halt this unbelievably unpopular, sick administration of Joe Biden. These people with court packing, with COVID restrictions, with what they are doing to our families and our economy, with what they are doing to our country, our nation and our borders. The president said it must stop and the way to stop it immediately is to flip the house red, keep the Senate extremely red and to stop this like unending, ceaseless, completely partisan, radical, unpopular march of communism through our country. It was inspiring to hear him. The president did curse one time. I'm gonna share that with you guys right now. He talked about it, he was getting run all keyed up. He throws away his speech, he's getting all keyed up and he got to the very end and he talked about everything that's going wrong and how quickly the Biden administration has just like flipped. It doesn't matter if the policy, what the policy was, they just had to do the opposite of what the, pre what the president was doing. It didn't matter what that policy did to our country. And he just stopped and he just said, you know what? I'm telling you, Americans are sick of this shit. And he said it in the room erupted and it, it's true, it's true. We do not want the third term of Barack Obama. We do not want communism in this country. We do not want tyrants in this country. Joe Biden is all of those things combined and even worse, he is absolutely falling to pieces mentally. He is destabilized. He is trying to make up for it by being a Marxist and it needs to end. 
And the president was 100% right on it. It needs to end by electing America first, people who love this country, people who know your rights, people who respect the Constitution, and good on him. He was fired up. I'm telling you, the president is energetic as ever. And I think he's just getting started, guys. I think he's just getting started. That's my report from Mar-a-Lago. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool experience. Thanks, guys.